you should lab, but you should also compete, which is why I'm happy to bring this next match with two players. Domino versus FX's Dakpo. Now, Domino, he told me, you know, he's, he's like, I'm confident. I'm going to get in here. And I'm just going to body Dakpo. I was like, dude, what makes you think that you can body Dakpo, Wait, Domino? this guy said that? Yeah. And, 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 and the answer he gave me, honestly, it was just the best answer he possibly could. He said, if I'm not confident, then why am I here? He sounds like me when I was like 13. <laughs> Right before I got punched in the face and put it back down to planet Earth. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, I like the confidence, you know? I, I do. And I think that you definitely need that kind of confidence when you go no. against a player like Dak Hunt. You're completely right. And this happens, okay, I know this is eSports, but this happens in the sports world, too. People will say things, they'll, they'll claim things. They'll be like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And we all praise them when they win, but when they lose, there's so many memes and there's so many attacking them. Got to gotta respect it. It's a mindset. You got to have that. If you're going in your scared, you're not going to win. We saw that with a couple matches ago. Oh man, and Domino may have came into this match with some confidence, but as we're going into the match itself, it's been all about Dagpo. 47% uncontested. Domino finally finding a little bit of answers of his own to chop away at this lead. But still, you know, this is like one of those very strange matchups, you know? Uh, I, I feel like we're gonna need to see a couple more punches. Here we go. We're moving now. He's getting his thing going. You notice that a lot of Domino's damage has been off of Dagpo being on platforms. Uh, just because Falco's so good with these aerials. He might he might be all right. 71 to 89, he's closed the gap decently well. Oh, but that down smash is wow. smash. Quick stock for Dakpo. Really smart there, uh, getting Domino onto the corner. And especially whenever folks are first on the corner, they love going for that quick get up. That down smash is just such a great option. And the spacing from him, I think, may have gotten around the get up attack as well. Dakpo's so good at making it look like he has such confirmed kills all the time from every angle. A, a Domino. He can actually still win this game, honestly enough. I mean, Falco's aerial game, especially off the ledge, is amazing. Uh, unless... Oh, okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, are we good? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, my God, we're not good. He actually... Okay, like, even though that match ended with a two-stock, I, I hope Domino can bring himself back, relax a little bit. Here we go. See, we're good. Mentally getting himself back together. He needs to calm down. He actually played very well. He did, he, especially that that first stock here. He was going neck and neck with Dakpo, but whenever he was off stage, you know, Dakpo just had all the time in the world. Gets the down smash, and then you know gets the punish afterwards. And I mean, and fair enough. Even though I know Falco excels being in the air, like being off stage with a zero suit is always dangerous. That spike is and Dakpo's amazing at spiking people. I mean, I can see where his hesitation come from. Game two, and Dakpo wasting no time again. So much damage. These battlefield platforms into the combo game, nearly getting the stock there as well. That would have been terrifying, but very fortunate. That higher ceiling, I think, coming to Domino's aid there. Domino needs to get these punishes. I, uh, he needs these punishes because he's whiffing him too much, and he had a lot of damage right there. Dakpo scaring me a little bit, but whoa. Yeah. All of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just to trip up Domino perhaps a bit. Ends up coming in, finally getting a punish on one of those whiffed grabs. Dakpo, uh, I think, reading pretty hard, expecting uh, some of these uh, rolls in. And this is the thing, like, I've seen Dak Domino play enough. He's a good player. He can definitely make this happen, but he needs to, he needs to get his punish, he needs to get his wits about him. Um, Dakpo isn't the type to respect you. And not that he disrespects anyone, he's not the type to respect you until you make him. Ames talking about that, I was just talking to him earlier. He came over and he was being straightforward. He's like, until. It was literally, it literally came down to until you make him realize who you are, like that Ness player did earlier, he's just gonna plow through you. So until Domino takes the stock from him, you're gonna have a hard time. He's gonna just keep treating you like you're nothing. Well, you can definitely do it here. Dakpo at 98%. I'm looking for the bear, and Dakpo is gonna be finding it. Hand Domino. Clap. Domino's back in here. Up. Domino's back in it. Get off that platform. We need to get you back on the ground. <laughs> There's no re oh, oh my man, god. Oh man, that read. That. <laughs> He got better played. Just yeah. a little bit there. You gotta get down. These up airs are gonna keep coming. You gotta get down. And, good and you gotta punish the grabs. We're missing those. Yeah, well, he, was, he had the right idea though. Retreating, ensuring that Dakpo couldn't get the grab. Uh, even though he doesn't get a punish, he at least resets the uh, control bin. But right there, Dakpo ready to go ahead and reset this game. Oh. Stun coming out. Domino, bad position, but making it back onto the stage. Dakpo oh. greets him with a bear of his own. And Domino, great recovery there. No. But again, the normal getup. Hey. That quick getup is getting punished again by that down smash. That was really nice, though. Complete respect for that game. Um, Domino, like, Domino came in there, and like we said in the first game, we saw what he can do, even though I know he's not going to be happy about the performance. We definitely saw that he can keep up with the, with those heavy hitters. That was 
arguably the best player of the year.